what's up guys, Streamers are here, and today we have a review of the Fenwick Atos in, in, the, fi in the 5 weight 10 foot configuration. Now, I've talked a lot about this rod, and if you look in my videos, I've used this in quite a few occasions, and I've, I've done everything from cast little tiny bluegills with it to decent sized striped bass throwing a large popper. So, by now you can probably guess I'm a fan of it. The, the Fenwick Atos retails at around $275, and it comes with this great black case in a four in a four piece configuration. Note that this case, since this is the ten, this is the ten foot version, I'm gonna talk a little bit later about why I prefer the ten foot to the nine foot version. Is a about a, a little bit longer than your standard fly rod case, which threw me off a little bit and made traveling a little bit more difficult. But it's definitely worth it to keep this fly rod safe. First off, I want to talk about some of the features that I find really great about this fly rod. The butt on this fly rod is a lot different from many of the butts you see on on regular five weight fly rods. As you can see, it's more like something you'd see on an eight weight, but still not changing the handle configuration. I think this is great. This means when I do have to fight fish, it's a lot better to put it on my chest and, and reel in. Now, I've seen more and more five weights doing this, and even more nymph-specific rods starting to have butts like this, and I think it's a very welcome change. Now, in terms of how the rod casts, I'd say it's one of my favorite casting rods. Whether you're throwing a so streamers or throwing a floating line with some light dry flies, I find it casts really well in all these situations. Using the 10 weight, you can get a, what I feel is a bit more distance and you can throw some heavier flies, but also it's a lot better for, nymph, for nymphing, I find. I'm able to mend line a lot easier and just it just makes it easier. That's why I chose it so it could be just this great all around thing and kind of be almost a pseudo six, six weight, but still very sensitive. Overall, the Fenway Gatos is a great fly rod. And for its price range, I think it's pretty cool. I don't think there's really anything at its price range that competes with it. At a hundred, from what I realized, there's a couple of Echo fly rods lies in the similar price range. I haven't casted those yet, but what I've heard from the reviews, there are nothing like the Atos. And for its price, it's really good and it fits a lot of great niche roles. Maybe you already have a really expensive five weight and you want to and you want a backup one, or you want to try something new, or you want to try out the 10 for five weight, the Fenwick Atos is great. I totally recommend you guys pick one up. Fenwick is an awesome brand that I don't think gets a lot of credit in the fly fishing community. You know, people love moonshine rods and they love echo rods, but nobody really talks about Fenwick and they make some badass rods. I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored by Fenwick, I'm saying it because I'm generally a fan of their products and they've served me well. So anyways guys, that's my review of the Fenwick Atos. If you like that, there's a playlist with all the rest of the reviews that I'll post on my channel, which I'll put the link in the description. There'll be some videos around here for you to watch and the subscribe button over here. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.